Hello guys, Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamster is back again for another Hypixel Skyblock video and in today's video, we will be examining and ranking the best items you should craft from Slayers. If you haven't watched my previous video on the Tarantula and Revenant Slayer collection, be sure to check it out, link in the description. Or just check out the tier list summary at the end of the video. Anyways, before we begin, here's the tier system rating I will be using today, so feel free to skip it if you have already watched the previous video. Timestamp shown on the screen. Also, be sure to smash the subscribe button down below because we are almost at 15,000 subscribers. And at 15,000 subscribers, I will be doing 1,000 tier force events. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see me die a horrible death. So for items who got a 1 star rating, they are just never worth crafting most of the time. Items that have a 2 star rating can be crafted for future purposes, but these items will see no use at the moment. 3 star items are outclassed due to price and power, however items here do see some niche users as budget items or for one or specific users only. Items here can also be good, but they do not need to be crafted immediately. 4 star items are amazing crafts that you should almost consider crafting immediately or as soon as possible. These items can be outclassed by a few items, but they are 4 stars due to their power level and for how cheap they cost. 5 star items are basically must crafts and you will always want to craft them as soon as possible. And with that, let's get onto the video. And last but not least, we have come to our favorite final slayer, the Savan Slayer. Number 1, the Red Claw Ring and the Red Claw Talisman. Just craft or buy them right away, they are really cheap and have good stats and rarities to boot. Number 2, the Red Claw Artifact, 3 stars, it is once again a late game talisman. There is no rush to craft them or whatsoever, it isn't an amazing talisman, but you will get it eventually for end and late game purposes. Number 3, Radiant Power Orb, 4 stars, cheap to craft, free health, what's there to hate? Number 4, Mastiff Armor, 4 stars. Once again, Superior Dragon Armor is the meta for Slayers, however, Mastiff Armor is still a good budget set for dealing with Savants and is drastically cheaper. Reason as to why Mastiff Armor is in 4.5 stars is because Mastiff Armor and Pooch does less damage overall than the Midas and Superior. However, Superior and a Scorpion Foil does the same damage as Tarantula Armor and a Scorpion Foil, so it's slightly weaker than Tarantula Armor on a whole. Number 5, the Shaman Sword. 3 stars. The Shaman Sword is only good with Mastiff Armor. Problem is, it is a really weak sword to kill tier 4 events with, especially when you're only hitting for 20 to 25,000 per hit, as compared when you can deal damage with the Pooch Sword. It only sees use as a budget weapon or for players who are not Savan 6 yet and cannot use the Pooch Sword. Number 6, the Pooch Sword, 4 stars. It works only and the best with Mastiff Armor, however it is once again not the best item to grind Slayers or Savans with. It is certainly a good and way cheaper option than a Midas or a 300ml Emerald Blade or an Aspect of the Dragons and the Dragon Pet. Once again, it's budget, it does its job, 4 stars. Number 7, the Weird Tuba, 5 stars. Great for dungeons, great for slayers against tier 4s with high health and only costs around 2 million coins. Need I say more? Number 8, the Edible Mace. 2 stars. If the ability of the edible mace was an AoE effect that could weaken multiple animals on its ability, it would see play in floor 4 when the cheese strategy is fixed. However, because it's single target, it might not see you as a dungeon whatsoever, but it may be useful against tier 6 events in the future due to the ability to reduce its damage by 35%. Number 9, Armor of the Pack, 1 star. It can deal with Savan and face tank Savan due to its base 25 true defense. However, it's simply cheaper and easier to do Savans with Mastiff and Pooch. And once again, Armor of the Pack is outclassed by Superior and Midas. Number 10, Mana Flux Power Orb, 4.5 stars. It is amazing for dealing with tier 4 revenants and tier 4 tarantulas if you are still having trouble with them and is good for dungeons. It also doesn't cost more than 5 mil to buy or to craft it, making it a powerful item for dungeons and slayers for a very reasonable cost. It is almost as good as the best orb which is the overflux power orb, however it does get the job done most of the time and it is relatively cheap, but because it isn't the best it will receive a 4.5 star rating like the tarantula armor although it's really good and it's amazing if you cannot afford the overflux power orb. Number 11, the Hunter Ring, 4 stars. 
Yes, this is the only Slayer Talisman I give a 4 stars for, it is by no means a necessity to craft or something you want to get immediately. However, unlike the other Slayer Talismans, the Hunter Ring has uses beyond extra stats. It gives 5% more combat XP, which means 5% faster Slayers, and it is significant if you are a mad Slayer grinder. It also helps with combat 50 progression, considering it takes 55 mil combat XP for combat 50, 5% of it is 2.75 mil. Number 12, the Hunter Talisman, 1 star. No, don't craft this, just save up for the Hunter Ring, period, no arguments. Number 13, the last item we have for today, Overflux Power Orb. The best orb in the game, no question, 100% faster mana regen is always welcome with the mana regen nerf in dungeons. And now if you want the final overview of what items are ranked accordingly, here's the tier list. For 1 star items, we have the Recluse Fang, the Scorpion Bow, the Armor of the Pack, and the Hunter Talisman. For 2 star items, we have Revenant Armor, the Flycatcher, and the Edible Mace. For 3 star items, we have the Revenant Felchion, the Devourer Ring, the Zombie Artifact, the Reaper Scythe, the Spider Artifact, the Mosquito Bow, the Red Claw Artifact, and the Shaman Sword. For 4 star items, we have the Zombie Heart, Crystallized Heart, Revived Heart, and the Reaper Mask, Red Claw Talisman and Ring, Radiant Power Orb, Mastiff Armor, Pooch Sword, and the Hunter Ring. And for 4.5 star items, we have Tarantula Armor and the Mana Flux Power Orb. And last but not least, for our 5 star items, we have the Reaper Falchion, the Voodoo Doll, the Wand of Mending, Healing and Restoration, the Scorpion Foil, the Overflux Power Orb, as well as the Weird Tuba. And with that, shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Be sure to check my Patreon page out, link in the description if you would like to help out my channel. And last but not least, a Slayer Boss a day keeps a slash GKit command away, so be sure to do your daily Slayer Bosses. And with that, this is Furball the Hammy, your Slayer Maniac, signing out.